Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interested in today's video. What is Huawei's purpose in spending 40 billion renminbi to become SMIC's neighbor? With years of hard work, Huawei has successfully reached the top in the communications field, and its technology patents rank first in the world. If Western countries want to deploy a complete 5G network, it is difficult to bypass these technology patents, and they are at least two in three years. It has helped China achieve corner overtaking. After the United States launched targeted restrictions, Huawei launched the layout of the entire chip industry chain, effectively gathering domestic high quality semiconductor companies and jointly realizing a completely de Americanized production line. At the same time, chips, operating systems, and cloud services' major breakthroughs have been made in other fields. Today's Huawei is already the world's top technology company, and its annual R&D investment is even higher than that of Samsung and Apple. Huawei, which insists on scientific research, has made a new move. It will spend 40 billion renminbi to establish a R&D center in Shanghai and become SMIC. International neighbors, what is the purpose of this? Under the chip rules, Huawei's mobile phone business layout is limited, which directly leads to a sharp decline in revenue, but Ren Jingfei did not make any surrender, but declared in a high-profile manner. The annual R&D investment is not less than 20% of the total revenue. Percent In recent years, Huawei has also fulfilled its original promise very well. The annual R&D investment has exceeded 140 billion. According to the conversion of the total revenue of more than 600 billion, it has exceeded 20%. This is Ren Jingfei's courage. Only by not listing the company, retaining independent management rights to the greatest extent, and not taking revenue as the ultimate goal, can we achieve more achievements. Today, Huawei's R&D investment ranks among the top three in the world, a full 40 ranks higher than 10 years ago, with a total R&D expenditure of more than 845 billion renminbi. In terms of international status, Huawei ranks among the top in the world in major core industries. An important factor for Huawei's success lies in talents and technology. Only by paying enough attention to talents can cutting-edge technologies be born. Statistics show that by 2021, the number of Huawei's global employees has reached 195,000 and the proportion of people engaged in scientific research accounts for 10%. 54.8%, the total number reached 107,000, which is far higher than that of major well-known technology companies. Huawei has never been stingy when it comes to the treatment of talents, and there are many talents with millions of annual salaries. Even in the face of such a difficult situation, Ren Jingfei has never given up on recruiting talents. For the corresponding supporting facilities, Huawei has prepared 40 billion renminbi for this purpose, and will establish the world's largest R&D center in Shanghai. The construction site of the R&D center is located in Shitsun Town, Qingpu District with a total construction area of 408,000 square meters. At present, the topping of Block G has been completed. After the full completion, it is expected to accommodate 20,000 to 30,000 scientific researchers. What is strange is that the location of Huawei's R&D center is located next to SMIC's 28 nanometers factory. The project has already been capped, and mass production will begin soon after the equipment has entered the site. Does this have a deeper meaning? What is the purpose of Huawei's action? After Hongmeng's system, 
5G communication and other businesses are gradually on the right track, the only thing Huawei has to solve is the problem of chip supply. As long as the return of Kirin chips can be ushered in, then all problems can be solved, and Huawei seems to be aiming at this time. It is based on the needs of the industrial chain. After the new R&D center is established, it will definitely involve chip technology research and development, but with Huawei's current overall strength, it is impossible to complete the independent manufacturing of chips, so there is a high probability that it will rely on SMIX foundry. The 28 nanometers production capacity can support the manufacture of 14 nanometers chips, and with the self-developed chip stacking process, it can achieve performance no less than that of 7 nanometers chips. If the two parties can cooperate smoothly, the supply problem of Huawei chips can be solved. More importantly, Huawei has obtained many technical patents on photonic chips and superconducting quantum chips. As long as one of the technologies can be commercialized, it can effectively get rid of lithography technology, which means that relying on the domestic industrial chain, the manufacture of high-end chips can be completed. Huawei once declared in a high-profile manner, the king returns in 2023. It is enough to show that there will be big moves this year, and there is a high probability that it refers to the problem of chip supply. However, the current project is in its infancy, and we need to wait and see what specific adjustments will be made in the future. It changes. In the case of a sharp decline in revenue, Huawei still insists on investing a large amount of research and development funds which is enough to show that Ren Jingfei has made great determination to solve the problem of chip supply. From the current market perspective, this is not impossible. At the same time, SMIC has assembled 170 billion yuan for the deployment of 428 nanometers foundries in Shanghai, Beijing, Shenzhen, and Tianjin. If these factories are all put into production, the domestic demand for low-end chips may no longer need to rely on imports. It is a deep-seated upgrade for the domestic industrial chain. There have been a lot of good news. The 28 nanometer chip factory in Shanghai has been capped. After full production, the annual output can reach 1.2 million wafers. The capital expenditure in 2022 will increase from 32 billion to 45.6 billion. Pay the advance payment of ASML in order to obtain more DUV lithography machines. These data are enough to show that SMIC will fully bet on the mature process market in the future and control the domestic market to the greatest extent. What do you think about this? Thank you for your watching.